Hey folks, Stephen Hook from Nashville Steam here in the Steam Shop today on the deck plate of the 576 in front of the throttle controls in the water column. And we are about to turn on the water for the first time into the boiler on the 576. Now this will be the first time that this boiler has seen water in 73 years since 1952 when the locomotive was removed from service. So it'll take a while with a garden hose. However, this is the, what we have and there we go. In about 18 hours, she'll be full and ready for our first hydrostatic test. The hydrostatic test is an essential part of bringing a steam locomotive back to life. This is the first time that we can really test the boiler to make sure that all of our work that has been done correctly to code also will function practically when put under pressure and in use and is safe for use. The hydrostatic test entails filling the boiler entirely with water. The reason that we do that is the water does not compress. So if there was to be a failure on the boiler, then there is no explosive pressure behind it. This is also going to help us notice any leaks or any defects immediately because of the presence of water on the exterior or interior of the boiler. The year 2025 has seen the most of our boiler progress as we start to wrap up on some pretty essential projects. Those being completion of the installation of the tubes and flues, installation of the third thermic siphon and the related crown patches that went around it, tying the crown sheet together and making it all one sheet, installation of new threaded Huron washout sleeves and plugs, and then finally the dome lid are all components that have been put on in 2025 that now have enabled us to put water into the boiler. Our locomotive and our project in particular has had over 1,500 stay bolts removed and over 13 flush patches, which means we have placed a lot of holes into this boiler, something that makes this an incredibly crucial part outside of the fact that it's mandated by the federal government is this is the first opportunity that we get to verify that our work was done properly, done safely, and that our boiler will be safe for operation. There really is no good way to tell without testing. So that's why we perform this test the way that we do. The test involves filling the boiler with water entirely and then compressing the boiler to 312 PSI. That is 25% over the maximum authorized working pressure or MAWP of the boiler, which is 250 PSI of steam. That 312 allows us to exercise a little bit of our safety factor, verify that our boiler is going to be safe at higher pressures than what it will experience when it's in regular operation, and also allow us to perform tests on the boiler, such as hammering on stay bolts to verify that there are no broken bolts, and verify that there are no leaks in any of the parts of the boiler that we didn't touch. Because while we removed and replaced plenty of stay bolts and plenty of parts, there's still a lot of parts that are original to the boiler. This is our first opportunity to verify that those are going to be safe and suitable for service. Not only is the hydrostatic test an essential part of the steam locomotive restoration, this is also going to be a very pivotal moment for not only the organization as a whole, but also all the individuals that have put time and effort from their personal lives into seeing this through that the day that we get our first successful hydrostatic test will be an immensely gratifying day for all of us, both who have been here five days a week, six days a week, one day a week, one day a month. If you have played any part in this project at all, you get to share in this and taking this project to the next level.